Okay, this next video is going to talk to you about how to connect your new domain name and your hosting service. And I'm going to demonstrate this uh, by connecting one of my new do domain names um, that I bought on GoDaddy and I'm going to connect it to or point it to my hosting service which is HostGator. Now, we use these and we would recommend that you do that as well and we have links for you on our resource page at www.businessbuildingshortcuts.com and then if you go to the resources for us page it'll give you direct links so that you can create your own accounts. So what you want to do is put in the URL box www.godaddy.com and then hit enter and you'll be taken to a page that looks something like this. Now one of the things that GoDaddy likes to do quite often is to change its look and so if it doesn't look exactly like this not to worry. The only thing we're looking for on this page right now because we're assuming you've already created your account is to find this login to your account um, section and I want you to type in your username and password and then click go. We're going to be taken to a page that reviews information and on the left side here it lets you do all kinds of things with your account. For right now what we're going to be looking at is number one look for your name and your customer number make sure it's you and it's the right account then go over here to the left in that left sidebar you'll see under my products you will see domains and domain manager. What I want you to click on is domain manager and GoDaddy is going to take you over to the page that will give you a listing of all the domain names you have purchased through GoDaddy. It might be just this one, it might be a whole lot of them. In this case I have a lot of them and I've blanked out all of the ones that we're not going to work with today so we don't get distracted. The, art, the um, domain name I just purchased is articlesbydeb.com and I want to point that over to my account, web hosting account, at HostGator. So the first thing you want to do is click on, select the article, the domain name you want and click on it and that is going to take us to a page that's all about that particular domain name. Now what you'll notice is that there's a lot of information on this page. It's going to give you um, information about when you registered the domain name, when it expires, um, contact information down below which you can edit. But what we're going to look at right now and the purpose we're here at GoDaddy is to point those name servers right up here in the center at HostGator, our personal account. Now I'm assuming that you already have got an account set up over at HostGator and that you have received the email that gives you the name server uh, numbers for your account at HostGator. If you haven't got those right up on your desktop right now just pause this video and go get them. I happen to have mine right here so I'm just going to continue. Now what we want to do is you can either click on either of these two that says nsdomaincontrol.com. If it says domaincontrol.com that means that you have not yet pointed that to a web hosting service so you know you still need to do that. So I'm going to go click on name servers right here because it's going to accomplish the same thing. It's going to allow me to point those name servers at the web hosting company and at my particular account. So the first thing you'll notice is that you have three options here under set name servers. You can park your domains which means just leaving them there. You can host them. If you chose GoDaddy for your web hosting solution you would select the second one but I host over on HostGator so I selected custom name servers I click the radio box then the next job you can see my domain control name servers in here I want to delete both of those and you will see that it's now reminding you you need two name servers so now what I want you to do is go ahead and go copy um, the domain I mean the name servers from your HostGator account and simply paste them into those two spots. Now they should say HostGator in them and as soon as you've done just those two things and then you go ahead and click OK I'm 
I don't know what that error number was. Oh, look, it wants to sell me some more things. Nope, I just want to set the name servers. So see how it says my changes have submitted? Now you have to allow a few minutes for these changes to take effect. So you would just say OK, and that's going to close up and go back to the same page. And you see here when it took us back to this page after we hit Submit, it's still showing the name servers as the original ones. So what we want to do is wait until we can refresh the page and see our new HostGator domain uh, name servers there. Now I've refreshed and you can see here that uh, my name servers now say a HostGator account. So you know that you have successfully pointed your domain name to your new, new hosting service over at HostGator. So that's all there is to it. However, if this is a dom uh, an add-on domain name, there's one more step that you need to do over on HostGator before it can actually show the appropriate page so you know that all things are linked up. And this only took a couple of seconds, maybe a minute, for those name servers to become registered. Depending on how busy GoDaddy is, it may take a little longer than that. So what you would do is go ahead and log out of your GoDaddy account and I'm going to do that and then I'm going to pop over to my HostGator account. Okay, here's my um, page after I've logged in at HostGator and you would have gotten in that same email that gave you the name server numbers you would have gotten the URL uh, for your cPanel login or control panel and uh, that's one of the big reasons that we do use HostGator is because it uses cPanel which is very user friendly and it also has uh, Fantastico. See him down here under software and services? Very very sweet and we'll be talking about that in a future video. But for right now what I want you to do is um, since this is an add-on domain we're going to go down to domains, scroll down to domains and you can see where it says add-on domains just click on that. Now remember this is only if this is not your first domain name you're pointing at your account. So what you want to do is type in your new domain name. So I'm going to type I'm going to type in this little box the new name uh, of my new domain name and I leave off the HTTP and the www so I just type in articles by Deb and you hope you spell it right dot com or org or whatever you got hopefully you got a dot com and you see when I just clicked outside of that box I got this little green check box uh, that said um, that was correct and I have a username already created it puts it in your public HTML uh, document root right away then you have to generate a password and it can be anything I'm not going to create, if you click generate password, it's going to make one up for you. So if you have one that you want to use, um, just go ahead and type it in. And it's going to tell you um, just how good it is. This wasn't a great password, but for now it's going to do. And see when I got those two um, green checks? That basically means I typed it the same both times. So then you would just say add domain. and it's going to come back and it's going to say I've created Articles by Deb. Articles by Deb has been created and if I want to go back and manage the files I could click right here. So I just want to click on that and see where it takes me. We're going to go back into my file manager and you can see my CGI bin is here um, but I'm not ready to do anything with it quite yet. The next thing you want to do is go to a new page, a new web browser window and type in the name of your uh, URL, your new domain name. If you get something that looks like this, address not found, it just means it hasn't connected it yet. So um, give it a couple of hours and then come back and try again. You want to keep working at this until you get a page that says index of. So if you come back and you see a screen that looks like this, index of, and then it shows these two, uh, that means your website is ready to go and you can go ahead and upload your blog and get started.